Hey everybody, Norm over here. It is uh, Guitar of the Day, um, and this guitar, it's Telly Tuesday, but this is not a Telly. Mm -hmm. This is not a no-caster. Oh. This is a broadcaster. Okay. And this is a guitar that really is painful for me to sell, but I've kept it all these years, and uh, it's going to go to my buddy Joe Bonamassa. He has had his dibs on this for quite a while and it's one of the cleanest broadcasters ever in life oh my god it's beautiful Ooh. and uh just so you guys know a little uh fender history the broadcaster uh, and there was an esquire too that were the first uh fender guitars ever made this is 1950 and it's in remarkable condition and uh, this is number 640. Wow. And uh, 640, yeah, 640. Yep. yep, you are correct. And uh, so it's a black uh, guard telly, or black guard fender, but it's a broadcaster. Broadcaster was earliest, and then um, fender had the name broadcaster, and Gretsch actually already had some type of lock on that name. They had a drum set and a banjo uh, called the Broadcaster and they made Fender stop using the word Broadcaster. So they clipped the decals and they started calling them No Casters. And then in 51, with the advent of television, it became the Telecaster. So this is a lot of history. Um, now I know where I got this guitar. It's also got a beautiful, you know, poodle case. And um, it's got the original strap in there, very little neck wear, just an amazing condition guitar. But I got this guitar from a guy named Al Hendrickson. And Al was a major studio guitar player. He played with Benny Goodman, Artie Shaw, Peggy Lee, Woody Herman. He played with Elvis on uh, occasion, did a lot of movie and TV stuff like Lalo Schifrin and just loads of different people. There's a whole, I just looked them up and there's a whole bunch of stuff. Um, you know, Jesse Belvin, who is one of my favorites, he had a tune called Good Night My Love, which was a big hit, but he had a bunch of other jump swing tunes. He had a tune called Satellite, that's just killer. Um, just really, really cool. Played with Scatman Crothers, Bobby Darren, Percy Faith, um, just on and on. Dizzy Gillespie and uh, Barney Kessel. And we're going to get uh, Dizzy Lemo is going to come out and demo this thing. <laughs> Dizzy and, uh, Lemo. <laughs> Look at his Thanks face. Thanks so much, Norm. I mean, that's great to be called after Barney Kessel, Dizzy Lemo. <laughs> there you go. I like that. I'll take it. Oh, well, right. it's amazing, Norm. And uh, this, this one hurts it. to yeah, sell, but because it's going to my nephew Joe. Um, I love Joe, and this is a guitar I know that he wants badly, and it doesn't get any better than this. This is one of the most important guitars that I've ever sold. And, uh, you know, again, this was something that I had stashed for many years, and uh, it's just time to do it. So, Joe, I know you're going to love this guitar, and uh, he's probably the great custodian to take care of this for me. Oh, and it comes with the that yeah, thing, yeah. It comes with also the cover, and a lot of these early Fenders, the tellies and broadcasters, and uh, had a little piece of solder inside there. I'm not sure what that was for, what the significance was, but um, you see that on a lot of the very early cover plates for these early black guards. So and the Michael, strap. And the strap. So let's take it out. Let's awesome. uh, give it a listen. Let's do it. Thank let's you. Let's go. There we are. Woo! Are you going to cry when it actually goes? I already cried. I'm not <laughs> what about you, Levo? I cry every day, so. <laughs> Sad. This is part of my life. All right, let's go. <laughs> right, we're up front with the amazing 1950 Fender Broadcaster. Wow. Woo! From Norm's Warehouse. OMG. I know. Times three. <laughs> um, yeah, we're also going through a Fender Super Reverb starting off on the neck position, which is just a dark circuit. Um, we'll show you what that sounds like. Here we go. Big Ooh. moody sound.
we're going to go to the middle position, which is the neck wide open. Uh, let's see what it sounds like.
1950. It's a Fender Broadcaster from Norman's Warehouse. What an amazing instrument and such an organic tone. Uh, you can check them all out at normansdrayguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. That sounded awesome. That bridge pickup is Woo! neat.